The media is being completely toxic against Bronny James once again, and we're going to get into it. As well as Brandon Boston and Terrence Clark have some bad news, I'm going to be honest here. Now, before I get in the video, I just want to make sure you guys give a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications to get a new notification every time I upload a new video, and if you enjoy the content that I put out. Right, let's get into it now Bronny James of course every move he does the media will report on it no matter what he does now he's been in a whole lot of different scenarios where to be honest the media seems like they're doing way too much now of course anytime Bronny James is gonna try to like someone's photo on Instagram specifically a female the news media is gonna report everything he does. Of course, just a little bit ago, things got blown out of proportion with Larsa Pippen when Bronny James liked one of Larsa Pippen's photos, and then all of a sudden, news outlets were reporting that he was in her DMs, and Bronny James is only 16 years old, and she was about 46. Now, that was some really toxic news, and like I said, the media follows whatever Bronny James does, as well as when he liked and commented on another female's photo as well, the news automatically came out and everyone was saying, oh, is Bronny James messing with her? Is that who he likes? But at the end of the day, that's toxic. He is 16 years old and every single move he does is put on the spotlight. Now, I just saw this news article come out just a few days ago and man, they are back at it again and this is horrible. Now, this time, it's someone that you guys all should know, Kylie Jenner. The news article actually reported that Bronny James, we've been tipped off to check out Bronny James keeping an eye on Kylie Jenner's latest. Bronny isn't liking all her posts, just the explicit ones. Now, come on here. I think it gets to a point where the news just needs to relax. Now, I've even, now I can even admit I've made videos like this before, but of course they were not in this type of malicious intent. And I could say that was my bad. I shouldn't have made those videos. But at the end of the day, it's getting to the point where anything he does is put in the spotlight. And this is just toxic for him and his career and his entire life. If, if he has no escape in everything he does, whether it's liking someone's photo or doing anything, maybe going on Instagram, whatever he does, it's gonna be in the spotlight. I think this is horrible for him and is really bad for his mental health as well. And even on the court, it can affect him as well. Now, Bronny is a 16 year old kid. What is wrong with liking some pictures? And why does that need to be the normal that is reported in the news? At the end of the day, this is something that really needs to change, but it's toxic for Bronny. Imagine all the people that are really commenting and all the people that are saying negative things about him. Being the son of LeBron comes with a lot of other things just besides being born into a pretty good family. Of course, Bronny James has a whole lot and is privileged a lot more than other people are, but that comes with a certain territory the amount of mental toughness you need to have and the amount of criticism you're gonna get from everyone whether one day they're talking good about you the next day they're talking horrible about you is something that he has to put up with every day that normal people who are not born into that situation do not need to put up with now like I keep saying I think Bronny James is doing a great job so far although he's made mistakes and everyone does Man, one thing you can't say is Bronny James isn't getting in the gym and getting reps up. I think if he continues to work on his game, he is going to be fine. I really have a lot of faith in Bronny James just because one, his genetics, and two, if he really continues to work and stays in the gym, I think he's gonna have no issue at the next level. He's so young playing against great competition, and it's only a matter of time before Bronny James blossoms into that player that we all know he can be. Now, one of the most important things about this is the mental aspect of the game, and hopefully Bronny James can latch on and really be that attack first type of guard and get his teammates involved, and man, the rest will be history. We'll see Bronny James probably as one of the next great players coming up. But you guys let me know, do you think this is toxic for the media to be covering Bronny James like this? Or do you think it's okay? Do you think they should keep following him? And even about his TikTok as well, that was another thing I'd report on. It wasn't as toxic, but man, he cannot make a fresh move without somebody reporting on it. So let me know what you think. Now, players like Brandon Boston, and Terrence Clark, man, things are not looking too good for this Kentucky team. Now, of course, they have been struggling this season. The record is not the best. And as you guys should know, if you're struggling during the regular season, what might happen is your draft stocks are going to get affected. Odds are the worse a team does, man, their whole entire team, there's a good chance that draft stocks may drop depending on how well they're playing. And this is the case for Brandon Boston. Now, 
reports are actually saying that his draft stock has is continuing to drop because of his performance and the overall performance of the team now personally i think he actually played not too bad his most recent game he seemed a lot more aggressive and he didn't have too bad of a time scoring the ball but i really hope that his draft stock continues to rise because he is such a great player what we saw him do in high school and being that guy that can really score the ball with ease no problem now unfortunately that's not what he's showing in kentucky because of course one man you have a lot better competition in college basketball and he needs to find his rhythm and a lot of people are even noting that he's probably not going to be a one and done but at the end of the day i think he just needs to continue to keep working and he's going to find that rhythm where he's going to be able to be one of these players that can dominate the college level but only time will tell and of course staying at Kentucky for multiple years is really a tough situation because they have so much talent you're going to be battling against a lot of other guards to try to get minutes and to get PT and that gets tough if you've been there a couple years because of course they're going to be bringing in new talent and fresh guys every single year and when you have those new guys come in man you got to battle for the spot but Brandon Boston is definitely a competitor and one of those guys that loves to get after it so hopefully his draft stock can rise and he starts playing better than he has in previous games and man he could maybe be a one and done i don't know we'll see about it now lastly some breaking news with the nike eybl which is the au nike's au circuit they've actually officially announced that they will return for the upcoming au season now this is huge news because of course there are so many players that are going to have an opportunity to play in this eybl circuit and get some more offers and then we're, we're going to see where they end up going now of course you have people like Bronny james dior johnson sky clark imani bates chet holgram man all these guys there's a good chance that they'll be playing eybl because eybl is one of the highest level of competition and has a whole lot of scouts watching you so that they can see your game and see how good you are now, this is going to be a great place for a lot of these players to showcase their talent and show why they deserve these offers from big name schools. Now, this is great news because, of course, if you don't have a lot of offers or you're looking to get more and try to go to a certain school, man, coaches are now going to be able to watch you play at this high level. And EYBL is one of the highest leagues in AAU basketball. And of course, it being sponsored by Nike means if you play in the circuit, odds are you're going to have a good chance if you're trying to move up in the ESPN rankings as well. Now, these guys have a great opportunity to show out what they're made of. I think personally, players like Bronny James and even Dior Johnson are going to have a great opportunity. Bronny James, of course, the offers that are listed there, I'm sure don't reflect every single offer that he does have. But at the end of the day, we want to see where he's going to go. He does have offers as of right now, but we want to see him pick up some more and play against that competition. I think that's one of the huge biggest things because he's played at Sierra Canyon, but we really haven't seen him in the AU circuit in a while. Now, of course, he did play for the Blue Chips and Strive for Greatness, which was the team that LeBron was over at. But at the end of the day, we haven't seen him play AU in a while and playing and going up head to head against these type of guys will really show what Bronny James is made of and show, is he one of the best players in the country? Can he really hold his own weight? or is he overrated i think that's the only way to describe it man you get left or get right and this will show has he been putting in that work into his game or will he get exposed now also other guys like imani bates are probably going to kill an eybl so it's going to be exciting to see all these guys go head to head and man see who comes out with the w at the end of the day whole lot of excellent competition now, you guys let me know in the comments down below, what do you think about the toxicity that's going on with Bronny James? Do you think they're taking it way too far? Or do you think they have the right to be able to document every single move that Bronny James does? Like I said, I think they're taking it way too far and doing way too much. But you guys let me know. Also, what do you think about Brandon Boston and really his entire draft stock? Do you think he will be able to be that one and done player? Or do you think he's going to be coming back? As well as the EYBL circuit, do you think that is great news to hear that they're coming back and they're going to be playing in that circuit or do you think it really doesn't matter do you think it won't affect great players draft stock since they already have so much talent let me know in the comments down below make sure you like this video subscribe to the channel turn on post notifications to get a new notification every time i upload a new video it's out